seven-year-old in Queens is brain dead after a prank goes horribly wrong in a very bizarre story of a little girl taking a bathrobe a belt, tying it around her neck and then to a refrigerator door. Mom leaves the room and the girl chokes. I want to bring in Dr. Jeffrey Gardier because quite honestly, Dr. Jeff, it's hard to wrap my head around this one. I, I, it's, it's horrific. It's absolutely tragic. And from what we understand, the young girl was trying to play a practical joke and certainly had no intentions, it seems like, of harming herself, nor did the family think something like this would happen. From what we've heard, again, I, I don't, we don't have all the details, but uh, this was not the first time that this uh, young girl had played a prank. But what is going on in a seven-year-old's mind that you would want to play a prank to say, hey, mom, look at me, I'm dead. Uh, it's just, it's, I, it's so bizarre. Yeah, I question that myself, uh, because according to the mom, allegedly, uh, that this girl had uh, been playing pranks before uh, about making believe uh, that, you know, that she might have been hurt or dead. You know, in some ways, that's attention-getting behavior, uh, whether it's just to be funny or whether it's just to emotionally just get more uh, attention from a parent. That's what it's about. But I don't think any child that young knows that the consequences can be so tragic. And that's what makes it such a tough, tough situation. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Jeff. Always good to talk to you. All right, let's bring in our A-plus panel for tonight's show. I'm joined by Republican Mayor of Evesham Township, Randy Brown. Good to see you back. Hi, Bill. Jeanette Hoffman is with us, Republican strategist. Always good to see you, Jeanette. Thanks, and Bill. Elora Nanos, who's a lawyer and columnist for Law and Crime. Elora, I'm going to start with you, your mom. Uh, this is horrific. Absolutely. Uh, where would a kid not learn the boundaries of, of not doing something like that? Well, I mean, it seems to me, though, that in a typical situation, most children of that age really don't understand death and the finality of death and the type of consequences that could happen if a prank like that goes wrong. So I think that there's a good chance that, that as awful and tragic as this is, it really is just closer to a sort of freak accident because it would be unlikely for this child to really understand uh, the gravity well, of what she was, she was playing eating with. Chips, well, so and that's, did, that's a really good point. I mean, she didn't think she was doing anything dangerous. Right. She was eating potato chips. She was fooling around. Apparently she liked to play pranks. Like, I don't want to judge. I mean, I feel so terrible for the family because it seems like such a horrific accident. Randy, is this a cultural issue? I mean, we have, we have movies that hit the charts with, you know, jackass and all these things where people do incredibly stupid things. Uh, people take incredible risks to uh, get a laugh, to get views on social media. Is it now crept into the seven-year-olds? God, I hope not. You know, as mayor, I know one thing. You don't know what goes on in everybody's home. Um, the devastating loss of a child is unfathomable. I've got two little girls that both play sports and are very active and occasionally just do dumb things because they're little kids. Um, but my heart goes out to the family. Uh, it's unfathomable. Yeah. Do you think there could be any charges um, with regarding the parents? I think that there, the would have, there would have to be a lot more information. There would have to be a serious indicator that something pretty sinister was going on here. I don't see any indication of that right now. Um, but I do think that just for sort of, uh, you know, our own edification, it would be good to look into this to see if yeah. we could piece together what happened a God, little bit I more. I feel for the mom. Yeah, right. it's terrible. Really All right, thank you guys.